the recent development of CT and MRI techniques ha has really um, broken the field wide open. And in the past five years, a, a number of things that have happened, especially in CT, um, have made it possible to image the heart uh, in a way that we never could before. The, the really big changes there um, is what we call multiple detectors on the CT scanner. So we often talk about um, multi-row or multi-detector or slices. And the 64 slice CT scanner um, allows us to encircle the entire heart in a single breath hold. So in about 10 seconds, we, we can image the whole heart and we can actually freeze it during the parts of the, the heart cycle where it's not moving very much. So the, the technical advances that, that let us image so quickly um, have now given us the ability to, to start to hone in on the, the coronary arteries, which is really where the money is when it comes to heart disease. Up to half the people that have a heart attack don't have any warning symptoms beforehand. So we can't rely on symptoms as a way to figure out who's really at risk. And what, what we need is these imaging modalities that let us start to diagnose the disease early. And this is very much like what we would do when we screen people for colon cancer. We do colonoscopies in everybody in this country over the age of 50. We do mammograms in every woman over the age of 50. We screen men for prostate cancer by checking a PSA. Um, women get pap smears to check for cervical cancer. So we have those tests available to try and pick up these diseases early when they're treatable. But until now, we didn't have that for the heart. But today, because of the, these really dramatic advances in the CT technology, we now can start to diagnose these things before they produce symptoms and hopefully before somebody has a heart attack. Echo is still a, a fantastic tool for looking at heart function, uh, looking at the valves, um, nuclear scans that we've done to look at the, the blood flow to the heart, and, and we've used those for the last two decades or so. I mean, that's still a great test. But CT is the only one today that allows us to actually see the coronary arteries and to visualize the plaques that are there and to see the obstructions. So it's, it's, the, it's the only one that really has the uh, anatomic definition and where I can say, yes, you have a blockage. I can see that blockage and I can tell you where it is. We're on the cutting edge and at the forefront both locally and, and regionally in terms of our ability to image the heart. We have a, a relatively unique working relationship with, between radiology and cardiology. CT scanning has traditionally been in the domain of the, the radiologists and, and we've been using CT scans since the early 1990s to look at the brain and other parts of the body that didn't move. Um, and, and the number of CT scans has gone up and up and it's, it's used for everything now from you know, knees to looking at the appendix and um, all, all sorts of stuff. So just really in the last three years or so, we've started to do this for the heart and radiologists um, over the course of their training ha have generally not been well trained to, to look at the heart and the structure and the function. So together, cardiologists bring the expertise on heart function, anatomy, treatment, and the radiologists bring technical expertise in how to use the CT and all those things that are outside the heart but nearby it. And it, it's really a, a beautiful marriage when it works well. So, so we work very closely together here at this institution. I think that's a, a good thing. We have the, the latest generation of CT scanners. It's a so-called dual source, meaning there's, there's two different x-ray tubes. And functionally, it's like a 128 slice scanner. Most of the scanners out there, the, the best ones are 64 slice scanners right now. So because of that, we can actually scan the heart in even a shorter period of time than, than um, they can do with other scanners. And lastly, with, with the dual source technology, we have a little bit better potential to reduce the radiation exposure that, that people get. And that's, you know, again, that's such a big issue today is trying to get the diagnostic information but not expose the patient to something that could potentially be harmful. So, so I think you know, the fact that we have, we have very well-trained people working together, we have the latest equipment, and we have our scanner positioned right next to the emergency room. We have um, myself and, and a nurse practitioner that works with me who can help follow up the results or give patients advice about the, um, the studies that we do. And, and all of those things collectively, I, I believe, um, really make this a, a premier place to, to come for your, your heart diagnosis.